Assalamualaikum and welcome back uh, to our chapter 3 for gas absorption uh, so for this chapter uh, we are going to cover on the part uh, 4 on to how to calculate the back tower diameter and also the height of the absorption tower so this chapter we cover up to 3 weeks so we are in the second week of this chapter so in the pack tower 3.4 here, uh, we already learned on the packing material and now today and also the pressure drops. Now we are continue with the determinations of the tower diameter. And other than that, uh, for your height will be your assignments. Okay, so for your uh, designings of your pack uh, column or tower, there are some uh, conditions that we need to consider where well, we call it as the limiting conditions so when the low flood in the column where it is uh, much uh, depending on the liquid flow rate can cause the channeling channeling is not uh, favorable in the design because at this condition the packing surface may be dry or covered by stagnant films of the liquid uh, Actually, in the column, we need to uh, make sure all the uh, packing material uh, will be filled by uh, the liquid and also gas so that the maximum absorption can occur. So, the second condition, which is the high flood, is also not favorable because at this condition, the velocity of the gas is at the highest. So, it can cause the flooding in the column. So in an actual operating tower, uh, the gas velocity should be well below the flooding. So the optimal economic gas velocity is usually calculated uh, half of half or more um, by the flooding velocity. So it also depends on the balance of economic uh, factors, including the equipment cost, pressure drop, and processing variables. Uh, in the optimizing designs of the pack to uh, tower, so some considerations on the calculations of flooding pressure drop, the diameter and height should be done. So let's uh, go for the flooding uh, pressure drop. So flooding pressure drop can be calculated using the equation delta P flood is equal to 0 0.115 uh, times uh, FP or CF uh, power of 0 0.7 so the FP or CF uh, is actually the packing factor so it can be taken from the uh, uh, table properties table for your packing material so it usually be given in the um, units of uh, feet where you need to convert Mm, you need to uh, fill in this uh, calculation in the fit um, fit uh, fit uh, units. So 0 0.115 times to FP or CF in FP unit power of 0 0.7. So when you get the value of the delta P, uh, P flooding, so you need to calculate. Uh, you need to times 817 so that you we will get the uh, value of the pressure drop in SI unit Newton over meter square over meter of packing. So your pa uh, packing factors or FP or CF is uh, the value uh, from the table uh, 6, 10 to uh, 16. Okay, sorry, uh, FP is uh, val their value is 10 to 16. For higher values of FP, uh, which is more than 60, the pressure drop of flooding can be taken as 2. So, uh, immediately when the value of FP is more than 60, for example 70, when we insert in the calculation, the value is all constant as 2 inch H2O per uh, feet of packing. Where this value we need to convert to SI unit by multiply with the 8. 
So let us see how we are going to calculate out the diameter of the column. So diameter of the column is actually based on the gas mass velocity G prime calculations. So the recommend uh, recommended design is actually from the range 65 to 80 percent of the flooding. So this is the following uh, procedure uh, to determine the remaining gas mass velocity and also the tower uh, tower diameter. So first, you need to select the suitable structure or random or structure packing. So both of these value uh, will be uh, given in your calculation. If it is not given, you need to uh, refer on the uh, tables properties table from your textbook. So um, from uh, this packing material, will give the value of the FP. So this value of FP. Uh, P or CF uh, we are going to use in the uh, pressure drop flooding calculation the second step is you need to find the liquid to gas mass flow rate ratio so liquid gas to mass flow rate ratio is L prime over G prime so L prime uh, over G prime, uh, prime L prime is actually the extract here which uh, exit from the liquid stream and also the fixed is uh, your feet of the gas gas feet so ln or we use it as ln over vm plus one so ln here over vm plus one so it mean we take the uh, part number one part here the bottom part so we want to know the ratio of how much s red from the exits of the liquid here and over the feet so explain it about the gas absorber column so we know that the there will be two stream streams of gas and streams of liquid so it will come counter currently and your liquid is from the top and your uh, gas from the bottom so this is how they represent the extract ln here at the exit of the liquid and Vm plus 1 at the uh, entrance of the gas so this is the liquid to gas mass flow rate ratio and then after obtaining these two values so we can um, include in the equation to calculate the pressure uh, flooding first and then next we can calculate the axis value the axis value is actually your graph 4 here this is the graph that we are referring to uh, for x as this value l prime over g prime times to this uh, equation so from here so we have the value l prime over that's mean to calculate the x as this you need to have the value l prime over g prime and also the density of gas and also the density of liquid so you can get the value of x as this so after obtaining the x as this value so you need to interpolate the data and then get the value of y axis so you will have the value of the y axis here so uh, so correlation between the y axis value to the these equations of the y axis value you can obtain the g prime here so you can see the g prime from this calculation so taking the cf is actually same as your fp uh, this is uh, viscosity of the liquid and then the j prime and row G and also row L and GC taking J and GC as 1 so this is how we calculate this Y as this equation and then we will obtain our J prime so calculate the limiting uh, flux gas mass velocity G prime from these equations and then after that we can obtain the area and also the D so the area is actually uh, how much the total gas mass flow rate G prime uh, M dot which is your uh, flow rate in kilogram per second and of over the gas mass velocity g prime so you will have the value m squared so after obtaining the area so you can calculate the diameter of the column by this equation uh, so uh, this is the uh, figure that we are referring to when we calculate the G, uh, we obtain the value of g prime so we have x axis g prime and we need to interpolate between 
uh, the x axis and the gas pressure drop here so interpolate so you will have the value um, of the y axis so you get the y axis value and you can um, calculate the j prime so remember when referring to this uh, figure you need to calculate um, uh, you need to ha a good, have good reading of the graph so for example between 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 remember 0 0.015 is at this stage and then after that you can use the ruler ok so now um, referring to this question uh, so the all the information is given so your CF F prime or G prime Okay, um, are the molecular weights, the density, the viscosity, and the conversion factors. So the, the question number one, calculate the gas pressure drop in the packing. So you just do, use this equation, just include the FP value or CF value here. So remember to put the value in feet and then next you convert it to SI unit. Okay, next is the calculate the gas mass velocity of the floodings. So that's me. You need to find the x axis, and then the data uh, pre, uh, pressure flooding, and then you make an interpolation to get the y axis value, and then you get g prime. So next equation, next question using 50% of the flooding velocity determine the new gas mass velocity. So after obtaining your g prime, so you need to uh, to find the value of new g prime, and then Next, liquid mass velocity you can inter, uh, equ uh, equal to this uh, L prime over G prime equal to 1.08 and then new gas pressure drop that means you need to find new value of Y axis uh, and your X axis is still the same so, inter uh, so interpolate so you will get the value of the gas pressure drop so column diameter the step is still the same you need to find uh, your new G prime and the area and also lastly the diameter okay that's all so today you need to submit the the questions one for class exercise okay thank you